Today we will recover polluted refrigerant with the new R-Cycle unit. First, make sure you have a clean and vacuumized cylinder available. Place the cylinder on a scale to avoid to fill it over the rated volume. Then, connect the filter dryer and side glass to the unit. When using the unit for the first time, release the nitrogen from the unit and insert the molecular sieve. The sieve has to be replaced every 20 hours of operation when recovering R410A and R32 and all 40 hours when recovering R134A. Check the elapsed time on the timer. Once you have connected the manifold to the cylinders and the unit, keep the cylinder valve shut. Now connect the discharge hose to the manifold as well. Make sure to use a hose with a ball valve. Now connect the vacuum pump, open all valves on the manifold and start the pump. Once vacuum is reached, close your manifold and turn off the pump. Then close the ball valve of the discharge hose and connect it to the empty cylinder. Open the ball valve of the discharge hose and the liquid ports of both cylinders. Open the ports between the polluted refrigerant and the unit slowly. Adjust the unit to auto shut off and start it with one push on the start button. Don't forget to monitor the scale to avoid overfilling. The unit stops when the recovery cycle is complete. Close the valves and turn the unit to off. Now we purge the remaining refrigerant from the unit. While the unit is off, turn the switch to purge. Open the discharge port. Turn the suction port slowly to purge to keep the pressure below two bars and start the unit with the start button. When the unit stops, close all valves. The recovery cycle is now complete.